Tom, thank you so much for joining us. It's really great to have you. You wrote the China study with your father, T. Colin Campbell, and it has sold over 2 million copies and has had a significant impact on the nutritional landscape. Can you give us a summary of the information presented in that book? Um, sure. Well, thanks for having me on, on the, on the, uh, in the summit. Um, in the China study, we really wanted to coalesce a lot of research linking nutrition and chronic disease. And uh, my dad, T. Colin Campbell, is the primary author. It, he had a whole lifetime of research um, looking at uh, the way nutrition relates to disease, particularly cancer. And so in the China study, we s summarized a lot of his research showing that um, high protein diets can be linked to cancer and other illnesses as well as the research of a lot of other clinician scientists which show nutrition and particularly plant-based nutrition is linked to improved outcomes in heart disease, diabetes, weight, um, ca certain cancers, uh, bone health, eye health, kidney health. And, uh, and then finally, w once you hear all that, you kind of wonder why the heck haven't I heard this before? And if, if this is true, you know, so you start to doubt, is it true? You ha we have to answer the question why you haven't heard it before. So that's the social, economic, political aspects of our food system and um, some of the confusion that's out there. So the China study kind of covers, goes through that whole journey. Um, and the thesis really is that uh, nutrition is more important than we most people think, realize. And plant-based nutrition, whole food, plant-based nutrition is the most beneficial. Okay, so Tom, you wrote the book, The China Study. And then in that book, you talk about the China Project, and sometimes those are confused. What is the difference between the book and the China Project itself? So the China Project is the research study that my dad uh, co-directed, was a director of, in rural China back in the early 80s. And they published results, and it became known as sort of the most comprehensive, one of the most comprehensive studies of nutrition, environment, and disease ever done. Um, the China Study is the book, you know, written, gosh, uh, 20 years, 20, 25 years after the original project would summarize some of those findings as well as the work of other uh, clinicians and scientists. And I think that's, that's a big confusion that, I mean, I see a lot is people are not understanding the book has like over 300 references of all kinds of scientific literature. And then the project itself was really just one chapter covered inside the book as well. Exactly. Yeah. The China Project is just one chapter in the book of 18 chapters. And uh, people sometimes sort of discard it out of hand, clearly not knowing anything about the book saying, oh, you can't tell anything from an observational study or, right. you know, Chinese study, well, you know, insert your criticism of that one study, whatever. You know, the fact is, if you took out that study from the book, you would still have this huge mountain of evidence showing the benefit of plant-based nutrition for things like diabetes and other chronic disease. Yeah, exactly. And I cannot, we cannot recommend reading that book enough and honestly, and checking out the citations. If you are somebody who wants to dig deep into the research, it is so well cited. You go ahead and do it. Check out that book. So I want to talk a little more about your, your current practice now. So you're a practicing physician. What does your practice look like? I'm a board certified family physician and what I've been doing most recently in the past year or so is we set up a program called the um, nutrition in medicine program. It's a bit of a bland name, but a revolutionary concept of getting nutrition into medical care. And um, we work with individuals and in, with groups, with small groups to help people change their diet, change their lifestyle to prevent and reverse disease using plant-based nutrition and, uh, and some exercise and, and stress management um, on the side. And, uh, but you gotta get the food right. You gotta get the food right. So you know, what, it, one particular thing that we, we've been seeing a lot of recently is diabetes. And just to give you a sense of that, we have an eight week program and we have uh, patients uh, sometimes with diabetes and, and sometimes folks are prompted when they go to their doctor and they realize that things are way out of control, you know, they get the hemoglobin A1C, it's way too high. And it's like, you're going to be on insulin or, or, you know, or insulin or insulin. And, um, and, and somebody is like, no way, I don't want to start the shots. Um, and they come and see us. And, and we've had some wonderful success 
with people um, really just changing their diet, you know, tr treating the cause of insulin resistance, which is, uh, which is a Western diet. For the listeners that have not read the China study, uh, could you give us kind of a, a summary of the China study specifically for people living with diabetes? Sure. So, you know, the evidence of nutrition in diabetes goes back so far. And the, um, in the China study, what we found when we reviewed evidence going back 80 years plus is that people treated with high fiber, healthy, high carbohydrate diets can are linked to lower rates of getting diabetes but also when they're treated with that diet, they actually can reverse their diabetes. So diets that contain lots of carbohydrates, it turns out, but healthy carbohydrates, not donuts and Skittles, but healthy carbohydrates with whole grains, lots of beans, uh, root vegetables, and other non-starchy vegetables, fruits, vegetables, you know, salads, all that stuff. Those types of diets are very effective at preventing and reversing diabetes. Um, in one of our recent groups, we had a person with very severe, advanced, long-standing diabetes who was on 140 units of insulin a day. Um, that's a lot of insulin. And multiple shots during the day, shots with every meal, long-acting uh, long shots twice a day. And within four days of starting a healthy, high fiber, high carbohydrate, plant-based diet. Within four days, she was down to 60 units of insulin a day. She had stopped all her mealtime shots. You know, this, is, this represents just an enormous quality of life issue and, and um, uh, very meaningful. And the reason that we dropped her, her insulin that much is because she was getting blood sugars that she hasn't gotten in years. So she was getting much better control of her diabetes on, on less medication on a high carbohydrate, high fiber diet. And that's what you can see looking back through literature and what we found in the China study going back uh, 80, 80 plus years.